Hi, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge, and today I'm going to do an opinion piece. And this is my opinion of Chinese knives, uh, especially knives that come from companies like uh, Sanren Mu, Gonzo, Anlan, and others. Um, there's a lot of people that are upset about these companies. Um, calling them all manner of evil. Um, they're trying to defend uh, like mostly U.S. companies um, when those U.S. companies are not even trying to defend themselves, when in fact a number of those U.S. companies hire the exact same people who make these knives, Gonzo's and Enlands and San Ren Mews, for their low-priced knives. Something a lot of people don't know, apparently. But I'd like to share an opinion. This video will be filled with loads of facts, but it is primarily my opinion about these companies. First off, let's start with saying that companies like Gonzo and San Remu and Enlan, etc., obey the laws of the country where they're in. Um, if they don't, those countries will take care of them. They will take the law and apply it to those companies just like Canadian companies are under Canadian law and uh, British companies are under British law and, you know, <laughs> Japanese companies are under Japanese law, etc., etc. Um, we cannot apply the laws that we think are fair and right because we're used to them in our particular culture and in our country and force them upon other countries and other businesses. Uh, not only is that unfair, it shows a relatively shallow view of one's understanding of the world. Okay, so, secondly, companies like Gonzo, there's their logo, they do their own R&D. None of their knives are replicas in the sense of being identical to any other knife that's in the world. I've mentioned this on a previous video. I'm going to paste a uh, sheet <laughs> in front of you. Uh, I'll leave it on for about five seconds and it'll show several differences between a knife that some people think is a clone, and it isn't, and the original knife. And you can take a look at that and you can pause and take a look at that on your own time. All of their knives, Gonzo, Anlan, San Ren Mew, knives have unique differences that only they have on their knife that are not like the knife that you think has been cloned or copied or ripped off or whatever other word you want to use to say that they're being bad. Um, there's unique things about all of these and they keep doing unique things. Um, Things like adding wooden scales, things like adding carbon fiber scales. There's always differences in their knives. And they spend a lot of money doing their own R&D. All right, third, all of their knives have unique aspects. I already mentioned that. So we're covered with three points already. Fourth, and I'm being rather quick. Let's define clone. I'm a bit of a word geek. I've always really liked um, looking at words and finding out exactly what they mean and using them appropriately. What is a clone? This is a clone. Why is this a clone? It's a clone because it uses the exact shape that the original knife has. It uses the exact, um, you know, blade shape, the blade dimensions, the blade grind. You know, it tries to get the exact same thumb studs and hardware and clip. And they, worstly, they use the logo of the company that they're ripping off. So a clone is a knife that tries to be exactly what the original is. You can see all the shapes, everything is identical. Exactly the same curvature and degree of circle for the choil, exactly the same swell here, 
um, exactly the same pattern of how the clips are screwed on, exactly the same jimping, exactly the same grind. Everything is identical. And the final thing that a clone is, a clone is a, an attempt to convince the consumer that they're getting a different product than they're actually getting. That's what a clone is. If you see this name on this knife, do you think it's made by Spyderco? Not a chance. Not a chance. Fifth, and I reiterate for number five, uh, companies uh, like Gonzo, Sanren Mew, and, uh, and Lan do not make clones. They're not trying to rip off a company. They're not trying to make a copy of a different knife. They've been inspired by a knife and they've made something that looks perhaps similar, but it's because it's an attractive knife. Many years ago, 54 years ago, maybe five now, this company named Buck made a knife with a backlock. Has every company who's used a backlock since been ripping off Buck? Do we really think that way? The first company that made a liner lock, should they be the only company that's ever allowed to make a knife with a liner lock? Like, once you start thinking about these things, it gets ridiculous. Lastly, Canadian Cutting Edge, myself, Jake, I abhor clones. I will not carry a clone in public. I will not uh, advertise for a clone. I will not promote a clone. I will not um, it, it review a clone, except to say this is something I don't like. I wanna share something that I haven't covered yet. And here's an example of it. This knife is not what it looks like. It has the identical shape, the identical liner, the identical lock, the identical hardware. Everything is identical to the original, except it doesn't have the branding of the original. This is a, a type of a clone that isn't strictly a clone because they put their own logo on it. Um, there's part of their logo there. I'm not going to dive into that discussion of each time I make a video, is this knife a clone? Is that knife a clone? Every knife that I will review going forward is a knife that by the definition I've used in this video, I believe is not a clone. That's it. So my friends, always remember, cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Bye now.